So if we're given two series, both of which converge absolutely, and then look at the series where each term just consists of the sum of the um, nth term of one of the first series plus the nth term of uh, the second series, we ask, what does this do? Does it converge? Does it converge absolutely, conditionally? Does it diverge? Well, to do this, let's just look at um, one, or first of all, let's just recall that um, the sum of a sub n plus b sub n. This is just equal to uh, sum of the a sub n plus sum of the b sub n. So we can see right away that, um, that it converges. Um, and I believe this is the result that we had earlier, that if the sum of um, two convergent series is just equal, or also converges, it'll converge to the sum of the limits. So it converges. Uh, let's see if we can say th something more than that. See if it, uh, we can say whether it converges conditionally or absolutely. So for absolute convergence, we're interested in um, the sum of the absolute value of um, a sub n plus b sub n. And it's probably helpful to note that for any two real numbers, so a sub n uh, plus b sub n, that the absolute value of their sum is less than or equal to uh, the sum of the absolute values. This is a result uh, sometimes known as the triangle inequality. So we can apply this term by term to say that, um, term by term in the sense, each term of uh, the series, um, or the sum of the two series, uh, sum of absolute value of a to the n plus the sum of the value of b to the n. Um, since each term of, the, of this series is greater than this series, we can say that the, entire, uh, that the entire sum of the second is greater than the entire sum of the first. So, but we know that these two converge because the series a sub n converges absolutely. That just means that the sum of um, a sub n with all absolute value signs around all of its term converges, and same with b, uh, b sub n. So this converges. So we can say the sum of uh, a sub n plus b sub n, uh, the infinite sum, converges absolutely. <laughs>